As a cat parent, you're likely aware that cats have a mind of their own. They have a reputation for doing things on their own terms. But are they capable of knowing right from wrong? Are they able to feel guilty? We all know and have felt that they can show affection. Here we explore how and if cats say they are sorry. In this video, we unpack these topics. Do cats know when they do something bad? Have you ever come home to your favorite ornament lying in pieces on the floor and your cat hiding away? It might seem like your cat is feeling sorry for what they did, and in a way, it could be your cat's way of showing you that they are sorry. However, you have to consider the fact that your cat might associate them, knocking something down with you getting angry with them. This is common for cats who are punished and reprimanded after doing something to upset you, and it can invoke a sense of fear in them. If this is the case, there are more positive ways to go about teaching your cat what are good and bad behaviors in your home. Most cats will learn with positive words and actions from you, instead of being shouted at or handled differently than they would be if they didn't do something wrong. If you are someone who ignores your cat after they make a mistake, your cat may purposefully become affectionate towards you to get a reaction from you. Do cats feel bad when they hurt you? Cats don't feel bad when they hurt you. Although cats are very intelligent animals, there have been a number of studies that have found that cats don't experience secondary emotions, such as guilt, shame, or pride. This doesn't mean that cats are uncaring animals. Cats do care and often feel love quite strongly for their owners and other companions. It's just that cats act on instinct. If your feline friend hurts you or causes your pain, it's probably because it felt threatened or was fearful of a situation in some way. But if cats don't feel bad when they hurt you, you may wonder why they always want to snuggle up shortly after a negative event takes place. Remember cats know you are upset because of your voice, attitude, and facial expressions. This can make your cat very anxious. Your behavior towards your pet after they hurt you might prompt your cat to want to comfort you. This doesn't mean that your cat feels bad for what it did. It means they want you to stop being sad. Cats are intelligent animals who know how to get your attention. If you start ignoring your pet because it did something bad and the cat now is cuddling up next to you, it will get your attention and get you to notice them. That's what they will do. Cats try to be in good graces and restore peace by snuggling up to us, licking us, head-butting us, and showing their affection. How do cats tell you they are sorry? If you have ever witnessed your cat doing something they weren't supposed to, such as peeing outside of the litter box, you might reprimand them by using a stern tone of voice and negative facial features. Your cat will be able to pick up that you are unhappy with them, which can cause them to feel scared by hiding away or looking at you with a sad expression on their face. They will associate the thing they did wrong with your negative reaction and feel scared if they do it again. This can make it seem like your cat is feeling sorry, but they are likely showing their fear of being reprimanded or punished for something they didn't know was wrong or they couldn't avoid doing. Since guilt is a complicated feeling that is likely not felt the same way as we as humans feel it, then cats probably don't feel truly sorry like humans can. Instead, they react to your reaction, such as a raised voice, lower-pitched tone of voice, and even negative body language. This can make them feel bad or even sorry that they are the reason for your mood. Your cat's personality will depend on how they apologize and what gestures they use. Number 1. Purring The most effective way for a human to apologize is by using their voice. A verbal apology is the most respectful and effective way to voice our remorse and make it right. It may be the same for our cats. While our feline friends can't speak words that we understand, they are verbal enough to relay a feeling. Purring is one of the most common vocalizations a cat will make when apologizing. If you hear your cat purring more than usual after doing something wrong, it could be attempting to apologize. Number 2. Kneading with their paws. Kneading is a clear sign of feline affection. When a cat needs you, it pushes its paws into you like it used to do with its mother before feeding. It can also be a sign of stress, and kneading is a soothing way to feel calm. 
If your negative response has caused a little stress for your cat, the kneading will be both soothing and a way to apologize. Number 3. Grooming You Cats will groom their owners to show affection. If your pet is grooming you, it may be trying to apologize. Grooming between cats is also a way to show affection and strengthen bonds. By grooming its owner, your cat is trying to strengthen your bond, especially given the situation, and nurture your relationship. Number 4. Head Butting When cats rub up on us, they leave their scent behind to mark us as a way to claim us. They can rub up against you, leaving their scent as a way of apologizing. They also do something called bunting, which is head butting. This gesture you may have noticed with your cat before is usually associated with a happy and friendly cat. Head butting and rubbing against you is another gesture they use to say sorry. Number 5. Exposing their stomachs. The most vulnerable area of a cat's body is its stomach, so when it exposes its stomach, it shows you that it trusts you. Being vulnerable and showing trust may be one of the best ways to say sorry. Showing vulnerability is the ultimate apology. Number 6. Blinking slowly. The slow blink of a cat is equivalent to puppy eyes that make a cat owner incapable of staying mad. A slow blink indicates that your cat is calm and feels content. So if your cat gazes at you and delivers a slow blink after it shatters the pot of an indoor plant, it may be attempting to say sorry. Number 7. Walking towards you. If your cat is walking toward you, it is a clear sign that it wants your attention. Especially if your cat is generally aloof, walking toward you with positive body language may be the start of an apology. It also shows that it is not trying to avoid you and is perhaps hoping for attention. Number 8. Initiate Playtime Playtime with your cat is one of the ways you strengthen and affirm your bond. If your cat has a favorite toy that you both enjoy playing with together, your cat may begin to play with the toy in an attempt to catch your attention, soften you up, and initiate some playtime that will inevitably result in your forgiveness. Final thoughts. So now you know, cats don't actually apologize to their owners. They alter their behavior after doing something that causes a negative reaction in their humans. Cats do not feel guilt, however, we do think that cats feel connected to us and think of us as part of their social group. Cats like to feel safe and secure in their home environment. Any sort of threat to them is a disruption of their peace. If your cat shows affection toward you after they have done something naughty, they are doing this because they don't like your reaction and they want to change it. They are incapable of showing remorse. What they do is try to get back on good terms with their cat parent so that there is harmony in their social group.